Good morning. All right, I just did it. The story continues. All right, I did Cappy. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna do my Pisces. Let me mute the phone. And we will get into Pisces. All right. Um, as always, um, this is a story for those who just found me, okay, found the channel, welcome, welcome, I, I got new subscribers every day, I am telling a story, okay, so if you want to watch them in order, this will be number seven, so I, I have a funny feeling it's, it's going to relate whether you watch all the stories or not, but watching the stories, um, could be fun for you. All right, so Pisces. It can be any placement, any placement within your chart. I know a lot of readers are always sun, moon, rising, Venus, but not me. I work with energy. Okay, so any placement. I should I should have been saying that from the get go. All right, Pisces. Ooh, you guys are little lovers right now. Your little lovers. Like you're a sweet lover. Like, well, they have nobody and not, right? Like, you're you're just a sweet lover. Like, you're a romance. You're, well, you're a romantic. That's the word I'm looking for. So, Pisces, January 2020. So, it's like sweet. Jesus, look at that. You got a double whammy. Okay, so you are happy. You are feeling fulfilled. It, it, it's happy go lucky energy. Okay, I, I feel like you're gonna. Get, <laughs> I feel like you're gonna get there if you're not quite there yet. You, you're content. Okay, you might be dating, seeing people. I feel like you're trying to figure something out here. So let's let's just keep going. But this is happiness. It, it could be a reconciliation. It could be something you see on the horizon. You know, you do your intuition is on point. So you're in your head. Well, they're in the head. You're watching somebody, they're watching you because that song just came to me. In your head. I think that came to me in the Capricorn or it was the energy exchange. But, um, which one was that? Was it Capricorn? Okay. Energy exchange. If you guys want to get that, that's, you guys will link to that. Um... Someone's watching you do good, or vice versa. I, well, I mean, obviously, it's a given. It could be vice versa. But I feel like someone's watching your energy. Maybe it's them that's in their head. But in the energy exchange, it was the feminine that was in her head. So... Maybe someone, instead of just watching, they're actually partaking. And you're, you're happy. You just... I don't know. We'll get to it. Pisces. 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 There's too many. Pisces. Four cups. Yeah, see, in your head. It's almost like king of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is also the wheel, okay? So, Kessel. So, something's going to go good. Something can go in your direction. Could it be an offer from the past, something you rejected, you didn't want, or vice versa, right? It's like, here comes the opportunity again.
Oh yeah, look at those feelings. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All up in your emotions in January. What? You got you got feelings for somebody. They got feelings for you. Um, they might talk about them. It might be an apology. Things might go really good. Yeah, an apology would be needed in that case. And like I said, you might talk about it. Or no, you're gonna be talking about it. I'll put it that way. Um, they're hurt. Well, they know they hurt you. You're dealing with someone who's hurt. It's almost like they see you happy and it hurts them. Now, well, they know they hurt you, okay? So if it's the first way around, don't be like, good, you know, because karma will come back and, and chomp you in the ass, all right? So I'm going to keep it real with you. There's no need for that bullshit. Others of you, this is, they hurt you. And feelings are all over the board. I did a read the other day where they they knew they hurt you, right? But they don't know the extent. So there's a lot of underlined stuff here. You ask me, they make you happy. But this is going to send my feminine in a frenzy you're gonna have to tell them if you get the opportunity or something tell me about the ten of cups Pisces but they you know they are watching you. You guys are interacting. Okay, damn. Okay, so you got the devil, the ten of swords reversed, and the knight of wands. Phew. You got the ten of cups up right here and you got it reversed here. Alright, so yeah, my computer is about to overheat. It only does that when the energy picks up. So this is attraction with the devil and the knight of wands. You are so attracted to someone, vice versa, however this goes down for you. But at one point you were very unhappy. It's almost like you're happy if they're back in the picture, but you're not telling them how much they hurt you. And that can be a problem. Like, you're happy, but you're not happy. Your emotions are, are done. There's no balance there. Tell me about the three of cups. You might be dating. Okay, I'm not sure. Well, you might be. You're definitely not in a committed relationship. But there could have been a third party. You got two threes here and the high response reverse. The king of cups could be loving somebody else. Yeah, they could want their wish fulfillment somewhere else. This could be... The Emperor lately, I'm reading it as um, anger because it's coming out like that. But right now, in the last 24 hours, <laughs> I just thought of a song. Um, but in the, it's, I'm reading it as jealousy. So I don't know if it's you're that jealous or they're jealous. I think someone's a lot more jealous than you think they are. If you had 24 hours, 24 hours, I, I can't even sing, sing it because I can't, I can't place it. Tell me about the, I don't, they're, I think they're wondering if you're in a commitment or not. They, I think they're wondering if you're dating. Yeah, see like, there, it's all up in their thoughts. You get, you're going to talk about it. It's almost like, do you still feel anything for me? Um, it's, it's like that. Like I 
This almost looks like masculine Pisces energy, even though I feel the feminine was all up in the head. But I feel like this masculine is extremely attracted to you, and you make them happy. But right now, they're unhappy. They could have been at their third party. They could have been at ends of a relationship, or they're just upset that there's just that they're not feeling the passion. They want that passion back. So if you ask me, they're going to want to talk about it. Or you're going to be talking about it. Because the Page of Swords talks not only watches, but right here talking with the Ace of Swords. And then you have the Ace of Swords right here too. They haven't figured out how to do it. They're trying to figure out how to play their cards right. Unless you're already talking. It just depends. Okay? Tell me about the Four of Cups. So it's almost like they want to offer you something. And it looks like some of you, it most definitely will be an apology. Others of you, they want to tell you something, okay? Um, but it could be an apology because they hurt you. But they want to offer the Empress something. They want to work together with you. With, with teamwork, for sure. I just feel like there's some other contract that's not completed yet, okay? So... I don't, I don't think you have to worry about it. And I know that sounds crazy and shady, but I just, I don't think you do because it's more than attraction here. They're going to want to talk about commitment at some point. Could it be in January? Yeah. Just don't think right off the rip. I'm opening your crown or your third eye or it's them. It's, your chakras are being activated. I think it's more your crown. It is some type of activation. It could even be a, um, um, it's just an activation. Tell me about this page of cups. It looks like an apology for, for hurting you. Alright, so the Knight of Swords. So this person is not being blunt, but they're not quite talking about their feelings yet. Yeah. They could want to apologize for their past actions. Because normally this would be someone not talking, but that's not what that is right now. So is someone talking that's this? Maybe they're just not being as harsh. It is... God, they know they hurt you. They're just trying to figure out how to balance something. Tell me about this three of swords. So at one point, there was definitely an opportunity with the wheel being here reversed, all right? But it looks like something didn't go in someone's direction, but somebody has not healed a situation. Someone is clearly not healed and still hurting. But the thing is, like, it's something is still being manifested, like, well, no, it's already manifested. You already manifested it. So, someone has some healing to do. It 
it's almost like they they feel bad I, I feel like they should have the moon like the masculine has the moon right now which is it's not even out here which is so it's something's concealed still but something's going to be created tell me about this knight of swords reversed I think I don't think I'm being blocked from anything or you are it's just something where could be like a surprise interaction like it's like you're not meant to to know something yet see but there's there's luck here but I'm telling you like someone is just so hurt but the 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 love opportunity is something is going to fall into place with that combo. For those of you, you, you might be meeting somebody new and leaving the past behind for sure. But you might even have a one night stand because the attraction is just so much. But it's definitely an opportunity for, for love and for something new to be explored. Lessons learned, you know. Once you're the magician, you know, somebody might come in and inspire you again. Spark your passion, reunite the passion. You'll start to feel the magic again. Have patience because somebody does want to be with you. They look at you as the empress. Whether you got kids or not, you want a company or not, it's that's future, right? It's possibilities are endless. They're looking at you as, you know, capable of being a wife, a businesswoman, very well rounded. I mean, someone might come at you in a very passionate way. You could be sexting. There's something definitely underlined. But it looks good. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks a little confusing, definitely some uncertainty, but you're going to get that certainty. Like this lack of spark that you have right now, lack of passion, desire, someone does, is this person's going to light the match, reunite the flame. If you allow it, it's up to you really. Someone's extremely attracted to you. It's almost like they're not showing it because they don't, I don't know if they feel your hesitation. Okay, so there is hope here. So it's almost like this is a message for the woman, which is kind of what I felt, but at the same time, I. I feel like it's the masculine a lot too. So again, it's underlined. Water is a transforming element that flows from rivers to waves to the vast oceans, turns into cold ice, and even can disperse into hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes, white fluffy clouds of rain. When you draw this symbol of water, it signifies a time that things in your life are taking shape and changing right before your eyes. Go with the flow as the changes are powerful signs of wondrous experience, lessons, and gifts. Even if you don't understand the change in the moment, you will. <laughs> Thank the Lord, okay, for these, right? Because it's like everything I was just trying to spit out. All right, so 
It says, Dear one, my van my van prey of high priestess of water visits you. It's here to remind you that things that things change, like powerful elements that she represents. And you do have hope at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I will read that for you. It says when the moon is hidden in the darkest forest, and I felt the freaking moon, okay? So when the moon is hidden in the darkest forest, it's hard to see your next step and easy to give in to fear that no, there'll no longer be safety or light again. I am here to guide you when you feel lost, whispering for you to maintain your faith that all good things will come once more. Take one step towards your dreams, and I will take two steps to help you achieve it. Have hope, and only good will come for this. When you choose a symbol of hope, no matter what is going on in your life, whether it feels like a, a setback or not, it's just temporary. The light will return again. Okay, Like I said, it's that passion, that spark, that desire. Someone's going to come in. They're going to reunite it. This is extremely positive. But like I said, I, I felt that whole, aw, look it. I felt love. I felt that whole underlined, ugh. All right. So thank goodness for confirmation. Oh, I literally just blessed myself. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Bye.